All right, Dallin is uh, six. Dallin, how tall are you? Two meters. Two meters. Uh, don't know. Come on, six foot seven. Six foot seven. Yeah. So we're gonna see how he fits. He got in. Pretty good. Got in pretty nice. <laughs> Look at that. Plenty of room. Oh yeah. Get in there, Dad. Oh yeah, you could totally do that for 20 hours. I'm six foot. Six seven and a six foot guy. Oh yeah, I actually. Oh yeah, like like Dallin's head doesn't even touching. Hey, that's actually pretty amazing. We're gonna go into wide mode here. You feel pretty comfy in here, spacious? I feel like I'm on. Yeah. Do you I feel, feel like, like you're I'm saving a, gas? I'm an astronaut <laughs> and a tiny egg. <laughs> Uh, blast me off into space. I'm ready. Hey, what's up guys? We're in a 2022 Ford Maverick XLT with a FX4 package, a 4K tow package with a 2.0 EcoBoost. And we're gonna be doing a drive, right? We only have 175. We put these all these miles on today driving around town. But we're gonna be going back to my house in Kansas. And so we're looking at a little less than 600 miles. I'm going to test my gas miles. I was driving around town all day and I was averaging 25.8. That is driving through town. Overall, I really like the thing. I did test drive an XL, a super base model XL uh, all wheel drive. And I would have to say, I th think this thing drives better. It feels more comfortable, to me at least. Like the interior just feels a little bit higher quality than the XL. This is an XLT with the luxury package and FX4. I gotta say, one thing I have noticed in this car, and that is a bigger, a bigger deal for me, is that the stereo is not good at all. Like, it, it's all right, it'll get you through, like it's good enough, but it has no bass and it sucks and it kind of has a little bit of rattle to it when you start getting up. All right, so we are getting close to our destination. We've been driving all night. It is now 5.30 a.m. But it's really nice, it feels really comfortable, like a lot more comfortable than my Mustang. Headlights are awesome. Like that's one thing I really like about this thing is it literally like when I turn the light bar on, or not to the light bar, when I turn the headlights on, it literally is like a light bar. It's so bright. Car plays been working perfect, um, nice and easy. The sc uh, screen just, like refreshes pretty fast. Never really had a problem. I've been getting 25 miles an hour or 25 miles a gallon, but I've kind of been driving like I'll slow down and I'll go speed up and I'll slow down, and speed up. I haven't just stuck it on cruise. So I imagine if I stick it on cruise, I can get like 28, probably. But right when I get back, I will put my dirt bike in and I put my dirt bike in and see how it looks in there and maybe just see how many dirt bikes I can fit in there. And so far, my car's been awesome. Love it. Here it is. We're gassing up. Ford Maverick XLT with the FX4 package, 4K tow package, and luxury. Luxury package. Here it is. Looking pretty nice. About 130 miles away from home, so... And it's roughly like six in the morning. So my thoughts on the 2022 Ford Maverick from a test drive from Denver to Kansas. And I just purchased the vehicle. It was awesome. I really liked the truck. It drove perfect on the highway. Couldn't ask for anything more, especially getting such good gas mileage. But I'm really looking forward to having this truck for a long time. And especially being able to take my dirt bike a lot of places now since I travel so much and it being cheap overall the quality was awesome of the seats and everything the stereo at the end of the ride actually started to get better and started to sound good but yeah overall i really like the ford maverick uh i'm gonna be doing a 4,000 mile update pretty soon uh because i'm gonna be going from a kansas to cali trip so i'll be getting racking on a lot of miles let me know what you guys want to see uh make sure to like comment subscribe turn that bell on for notifications and thank you